All right, so what I'm getting ready to do here is uh, start to glue up for this uh, this type of cutting board that I'm making right now. Some of you have seen it before, but it uh, kind of looks like the pattern from the old Qbert game, the little uh, kind of at an angle blocks, uh, almost kind of like a stair step with a shadow pattern. Um, what you didn't see actually prior to this point, so there's two big panels that I have to make, and actually I'm making two sets of each so I can make uh, some pretty big boards, is what's gonna happen is uh, right here is a piece of walnut, which is same thing with the um, cherry strips that you'll see in here in a moment. It's planed down to 20 millimeters thick. And then these panels right here, there's a bunch of them. The walnut and the cherry is gonna get sandwiched in between these. I didn't have anything thin enough, so I had to make some laminated panels, as you can kind of see here. This is just a bunch of strips that's been planed down to about uh, 10 millimeters. So each one of those is gonna get sandwiched. So this board right here serves as nothing other than when I clamp up as to not dent this wood right here. So the clamps will actually be going on this and I've got it sitting on blocks so I can get the clamps on it once I get it, um, everything set up. So we're gonna go ahead and start to glue up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two at a time, actually in a big stack. You'll notice in between them, they're not actually glued together, um, but you'll kind of see here in a few. Somehow lined up. All right, time for the glue.
All right, we got these uh, pieces cut up, squared up. So you can see right here, I've got them arranged in this uh, kind of pattern right here. Um, now there's a couple different ways that can be done in this pattern right here, as long as it starts on one color and ends on the other one, in this case, walnut and then uh, cherry on this end. Once they're actually glued up in this configuration and then cut into the pieces, it'll get flipped up uh, so that the end grains up they can then be flipped over and then rotated again to get the alternator pattern. But in this case, I'm just making two separate boards. So I can just take a piece from each board without having to worry about flipping them around, stuff like that, but it can be done either way. I can actually take this board after it's glued up, uh, plane it down, cut it into strips, and then just in the way you flip them, as long as it starts on one and ends on the other, if it doesn't start that way, end on uh, opposites, then you can't flip them like that and you gotta make separate boards, so kind of a pain easier to just do it this way. So we'll go ahead and get this, uh, get this glued up real quick and then work on the other one. Getting ready to uh, do the glue up of this uh, large board with the uh, kind of 3D cube pattern. If you notice, these are the uh, two big panels that are cut into strips. I'll save some to the side that I'm gonna make a smaller uh, matching board for this one, but this one's gonna be pretty large. Uh, you can tell right now the, the panels are just flipped up on their end grain there. They were actually like this, so you can tell they were cut out of the panel right there. So notice there's no panel right now, but as I mentioned earlier in the video, is starting on one color and then on the other color. Then what you can do is by doing that, then you can take the strips, every alternating strip, flip it this way and then rotate it. And then you alternate that pattern right there. 
and then the cube design starts to show itself. So we'll do that real quick and then we'll get ready for, uh, for glue up here and I have a pretty cool cutting board.